Well, not football weather today, that's for sure. Oh. <laughs> no, very humid. Yeah, and that humidity is here for the foreseeable future. Next week, we'll get a break from that. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got some on and off chances for rain and uh, and some storms tomorrow. It's not going to be raining all day long. We've got around in the morning and then around toward the evening commute time as well. Isolated nature, some rumbles of thunder, some downpours prompting our first alert uh, as outdoor activity certainly will be impacted. Otherwise, tomorrow we close out the seventh month of the year and July is going to end up for the Hartford area as the warmest on record. Then August starts on a hot note as well as we head to the first weekend of August, uh, looking a bit unsettled. More on that in just a moment. Right now, uh, first alert live radar showing that we are scanning dry across the state. Our view from Hartford, 85 in our capital city, a south wind at 13. Certainly some hazy sunshine out there today. A similar scene coming in from New Haven, looking out across the sound, 83. And our view from New London, a little bit of a bluer sky guy here 75 a south wind at 10 as expected today much warmer than yesterday after the morning uh, fog and low cloudiness uh, eroded uh, giving way to some afternoon sunshine temperatures 15 degrees warmer compared to this time uh, yesterday at Bradley Airport even along the shoreline uh, four to nearly 10 degrees warmer uh, we've got temperatures in the mid and upper 80s inland and from that, that comfortable 75 in, in Groton to 83 in New Haven also right now 83 uh, in Meriden so we're enjoying at least dry weather for now here across southern New England but off to our west we first have a warm front that's going to move in our direction tonight and provide us our initial first round of perhaps some downpours and even some isolated thunderstorms tomorrow morning and then eventually tomorrow evening the cold front will approach and move through bringing us the second chance for some showers and storms so again not raining all day long overnight tonight another warm and muggy one 70 to 75 across the state uh, and throughout the day tomorrow again waking up uh, when you check in with Scott Haney tomorrow morning tracking those isolated downpours perhaps a rumble or two of thunder uh, we'll see partly to mostly cloudy conditions a lull and how much sunshine we see will dictate how high temperatures will go before the uh, the evening round of thunderstorms begins arriving in advance of that cold front uh, right around the evening commute time but those storms will tend to wind down and weaken as tomorrow evening progresses so uh, low and mid 80s inland upper 70s low 80s are forecast highs tomorrow on the shoreline but that humidity remains up behind that cold front that brings the second round of of activity tomorrow a very brief minor relief from the oppressive humidity we're right back up to those levels Friday Saturday and into Sunday so on our first alert seven day uh, we're still calling Thursday humid temperatures top out between 90 and 95 that means heat index values could top out between say 95 and 100 basically more of the same on tap for Friday the chance is there for some isolated thunderstorm Thursday looking primarily dry the chance for showers fairly low at this point and then we're calling both Saturday and Sunday unsettled high temperatures in the mid and upper 80s those overnight lows still in the low and mid 70s so not raining all weekend long but this unsettled pattern will continue until early next week trying to be less humid and a little bit cooler mid 80s Monday closer to 80 by Tuesday of next week which is uh, several degrees below average for this time of year okay